What's going on, guys? Uh, well, I got an interesting type of model here, but it has a lot of similarities to building models in Excel. So what I want to talk about today is called the BPMN 2.0 model. Now, what that stands for is business process no business process notation. Uh, let me see what is exactly business process management notation. So what I'm going to do is I'll tell you how to download free software to use this, um, how to turn your diagrams into images, and how this works and everything else. So what this is, is in general, it's like a flow chart, but it's a little bit more structured. Uh, there's official um, you know, guidelines on how this is supposed to work. You could obviously create it yourself in like Word, but um, there's actually specific software here. Um, that we're using that has the different types of things that can happen in your process uh in your business process and it has a little bit more uh tighter guides on where you can put things and and how you can build it but there's a lot of cool things so this is just the first one I'm, i've built that i'm going to walk you through and then i'm going to show you another example later that's more complex um but there's a million use cases for this uh i mean the the simple one is well, you've got an organization that's kind of unstructured. You've got a lot of people doing a lot of different things. So you might want to bring in this kind of a model to show what's supposed to happen to documents or various things like, uh, you know, okay, this document comes in. Uh, is it about X, Y, or Z? If it's about, you know, X, then um, when you're done with it, send it to this person. Wait for a reply. They send a reply, then send it to this person. Um, if that's done, then send for completion or whatever. There's all these different things. So you can lay out your entire business process with this. And it's a pretty nice way to think about your organization and, and help reduce communication errors and just tighten up the organization in general. So this has a, so many similarities to how I build a lot of the if statements in Excel. So I figured it's kind of a complimentary service. I'm not really a professional project manager. But this kind of fits under some of the, the, the ways that I think, and I thought it was interesting to share. Um, so let's just get started. So uh, there's different objects that mean different things. So there's this light uh, light rim circle that's basically you create a start event. Then you have these connectors. Um, this would be a task, the square. Uh, and then you've got the decision gateway. This is where you go off into different based on what is happening you can have different paths to do and then the dark bold circles just signifying the end event now these objects are defined so there it's trying to make a universal language so everybody kind of knows what what is meant when different shapes are used and so that's nice and you also have some arrows to see directionality there's a lot of other things you can do like creating multiple channels and uh, pools and you can have some circular things it's just you know, there's a lot of a lot of ways you can go with this. Um, so let's look at what the example I did. So I just used, you know, obviously at SmartHelping.com, I sell financial models, and so I have a process to, that has to happen that has a light touch on my end. So I have to go through some steps whenever I make a sale. So here's the process. So we start with I receive a template sale no, uh, notification, which just comes in an email, and then I have to check. Uh, what was sold via notification and then basically two things happen from there either once I check it if it is a, uh, a template that I could just send a manual file uh, via attachment I do that if it's a situation where it's maybe uh, a package of multiple uh, models like I have some where there's where there's like three links I have it all linked into Google Sheets um, if that's the case, then I'll, I will choose the link path and then email the G sheet to the link to the buyer instead. And then, so let's say I do that, and then the link model, the state is now the link to the model has been sent. And end. So that's the end of that. If it's this path, um, direct file, then I email the file directly to the buyer attachment, and then the model has been sent via direct email, direct file, and that's done. And that's it. So that's my workflow. It's not. It's a super simple example, but you can kind of see there's a million different ways to apply this. It's, this is like a really nice uh, modeling tool. It's almost like Excel for project management. 
And the nice thing about it is, is this software is completely free to use. Um, the way I got it, I just went to this kamunda.com slash bpmn slash tool and just went here. It's just a free download. Um, now you notice I did use a different, I used the bpn.io to actually make this because I didn't know about the, the download desktop version at first. So I actually made it here. But I was able to, because this is a standard kind of software uh, spec, I downloaded it and I actually, then I downloaded this desktop version and now I've got this on my thing and I just downloaded it straight to here and it worked. Now, some other logistical things you can do once you're done with this, you obviously want to share it as an image. You can just do um, export as an image. You can do that and I've already done it. If you go, if I go to my downloads here, and look at this diagram it's now a picture and there it is and so these can be super complex or super simple um, just depends on what you're doing but they're really useful so I'm gonna do a, another example where there's um, some math involved but it's basically a tiered uh, multi-channel uh, decision tree and I'm going to show you what that looks like in one second. And it's actually very similar to how I would use a VLOOKUP on an Excel table to try to return results based on a, a given value falling between two values. Um, so stand by. I'm going to build that right now and get back to you here. Pause the video. Oh, and another cool thing about this is if I just want to make another one, just like an Excel tab, I can go ahead and link link a new sheet here. All right, stand by. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I discovered a couple things. Number one, I figured out you can move these around, which is helpful in spacing. Number two, I figured out, look, colors. So I tried to do all the the uh, colors of the actions of one person. This color, then all the different results in the same color. So sent is one color and don't send is another color. Then the decision um, gateways all are that color. So, man, this is actually pretty cool stuff for explaining logical flows, and I, I think it's super helpful. So here's what we got. So this is a, an example where, um, and these are two, like this example of, you know, dealing with document uh, or, or how to process sales is pretty common. And then this is, is kind of a different sheet with multiple conditions and based on the condition you do certain things so this is an example of let's say you've got offer offers coming in from uh let's say it's a real estate firm so your offers come in from uh buyers and then you've got to deliver those offers to the client so here's how it works so let's say the offer is received so you got to check the amount of the offer if the amount is under 50k you're allowed to send it directly to the client if the amount is between 50 and 200K, you have to send to the manager. If the manager says no, don't send the offer. If the manager says yes, send the offer. Our third scenario is if it's between 200 and 500K, you have to send to the manager. If the manager says no, you don't send. If the manager says yes, you send to the vice president. And then if the vice president says no, you don't send the offer. If they, they say yes, then send the offer to client. And then you could go on and on. You could say you could do a third one or we could start doing tiers. So instead of having like a, a three prong thing where we got a prong here and here and here, we could do a prong where basically if it's 50K, it'll be this row. If it's if it's uh, 200 or 50 to 200K, it'll be this string. And you could just go in layers downward and just go out across and that'll help you so you don't have, to have one big long thing like this you could just do layers of decisions and you could do as many as you want uh, but this is really cool this is awesome uh, i think it'll be helpful to a whole bunch of businesses so hopefully you find it interesting again the site here is kamunda c-a-m-u-n-d-a.com slash b-p-m-n slash tool free download you can create these cool things um there's all kinds of the one thing i'll probably experiment with in the future is creating these pools and then some of the other uh 
actions, but I think this is very interesting. Now, what I can do, what is going to be part of, because um, I do offer services normally for building financial models, but for this as well, um, I'll charge $125 an hour, and I have discounts for higher rate or higher hour usages, but um, I haven't really built, I'm not going to build a standard, uh, you know, templates for this because there's just every single situation would be different so really there's that's not too valuable but what I will do is say that you know if you you have different scenarios you want to model out I can build um, some models out here in Kamunda for you and, and think about it different ways because it really there is a lot of similarities between how this is structured and how Excel uh, financial models are built um, and just trying to optimize for visual effect and ease of, of uh, uh, use and description. So let's go ahead. I'm going to download this one here. Diagram 3. Let's take a look here. What does this look like in a full picture? Oh, so there it is. Let's zoom in a little bit. So pretty cool. So there's, uh, there's that. Um... All right, well, that's all I got for you. If you want to check out any of my other models, just, you know, go to smarthelping.com. I do models for all kinds of things. I do them in G Sheets and uh, Excel, you know, a lot of industry-specific stuff. Um, some of the more popular ones that I have sold that are industry-specific would be a gym fitness model, a uh, website or app, recurring revenue model, and equipment rental. Uh, I've also got in here inventory management, just did a new one for that, for forecasting based on lead times, that's pretty cool. Uh, accounts receivable and payable, but there's all kinds of things in here. Um, Five-year SaaS, this one's pretty popular. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, budget versus actuals, performance automation. Uh... Oh, and then this. So here's a pipeline working process that I did in Google Sheets. So this is um, along the same lines as this, but it's more of tracking what has happened in, in uh, timing of things. But it's in the countdowns, but that's pretty cool as well. So that's all I got for you today. I'm going to try to get back to work. Um, but hopefully I'll have more of these videos of kind of exploring other free softwares that are available and in, in how they can help businesses uh, become more efficient and, and cleaned up. All right, have a great day. This is smarthelping.com.